Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. With the drawdown of soldiers from Iraq, many of them are coming back home to Orange County facing an uncertain future. Someone is here now to tell us more about a way they're hoping to make life a little better for the soldiers is Deanne Tate. She's the president and the CEO of Veterans First. Thank you very much for being here. Well, thank you for asking me. You know, what are the soldiers facing when they come home? What are the biggest challenges they have? Unemployment. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys uh, and women, men and women, uh, left uh, jobs uh, to go over and uh, and help you know, help the countries over there. And now they're coming back and those jobs have either been filled or they no longer exist because of the economy, the people gone out of work, or they've come right out of high school and they haven't really had any training other than the training that they got in the service. You have come up with an ingenious idea of how to help some of these soldiers find jobs and uh, find some specific training for them. Tell us about that. Well, most people feel very safe that the soldiers and the Marines have been out there protecting the freedoms of the Iraqi people and the Afghani people. And now they're coming home, so why not protect our freedoms? Why not get them licensed as security guards and they can go out and and so, you, so you've created a security guard training program so yes. that they're fully qualified to be security guards. Um, what makes them good security guards? What are the qualities that they possess? They've already been there. They've already, they've already carried a gun. They've already protected the freedoms of, of thousands and thousands of people. And now they'll be able to protect, protect a shopping center. They'll be able to be a bodyguard to a celebrity or a businessman or they, you know, our guys will be, men and women will be able to be licensed and they'll be able to, if they choose, to go all the way through the training program to carry concealed weapons. So uh, people can help out these vets by hiring them. Uh, what's the benefit that these veterans provide that other services might not provide? Well, I don't think they're afraid of anything. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody coming up with, uh, with, with anything that uh, could scare them off because they've been there. They've faced danger. They've faced life situations. So I don't see how anybody would uh, not, I, I'd hire military in a minute. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you talk to the celebrities in Hollywood, 90% uh, of their bodyguards are all former military. Okay, so if people want to help out some vets, they can call Veterans First and uh, get hooked up with a security agent who would uh, be fully qualified for them. You know, another one of the things that veterans face when they come home in addition to unemployment is um, homelessness, yes. drug abuse. Uh, tell us about the ways that Veterans First are helping. Well, we um, have been doing this for 40 years, and what we do is we provide housing, uh, case management, life skills, uh, uh, anything to help a veteran get off the street, or an at-risk veteran to keep him from going onto the street, helping their families. We help them get their benefits, we help them, uh, we advocate to the VA for them, and with the substance abuse, we are now going into collaboration with Cactus Gardens and Garden Grove, and we're opening up a substance abuse recovery center. And it will be a 50-bed facility, as a licensed drug and alcohol facility, and veterans suffering with, with um, drug and alcohol will have a place to go and get help. Mm -hmm. And uh, as always, you're probably looking for the kindness of others to help keep all these programs going. Absolutely. Absolutely, because these are not funded programs by the government. These are programs that we know there is a need. And when, you know, you, you try to go through the government to get the funding and things, but when you can't, you just have to just make it happen. And sometimes we just need people like you to make this happen. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in. Stay with us. More HLN coming up right after this.